Okay, so this education video is for pharmacists and it's regarding how to verify trays once they have been filled by text. So our new trays are redesigned and also have identifications for the pocket number and also how many drugs are in that pocket. In addition, there is a serial number on the front of each cart, which has a barcode on it. To start this process, log on to the Rx Ideas website and then proceed to Rx Verify. From here, the second option on the main menu, which is Restock. This is also the same area that is used for technicians to refill the items. Pharmacists will also use it to verify the filling correctness. You will be asked to scan the kit ID, which I will do. And this first screen that you see is used for restocking. So as pharmacists, we are not going to be restocking. We're going to be checking. So on the right, we will proceed to the verification piece of this process. The way the verification works is you scan items starting with the first pocket, proceeding to the last pocket, and it will give you an audible check or denied if the barcodes don't match. So for example, the first, pot, first pocket is adenosine. There are five vials of adenosine in here and we only need to scan one of them. So I will scan one adenosine vial and it's telling me that is a match that I can proceed to pocket two. So I will go ahead and scan two all the way to the last pocket. I've scanned all of the pockets and it tells me that the pockets have been verified and please print the inventory report. However, we are not because we are going to print instead this verification label. This label prints a sticker for the top of the, the wrap <clears throat> and identifies who checked it and who filled it and the expiration date of the most frequently expiring medication. That prints on the connected printer. I'll be back in the cart check area. And when you look at this label, it looks like that. There's another video on how to restock these if you're a technician, and the third video on how to issue these to a unit and receive them back to the pharmacy. These will have to be tracked for their location in order to track expirations.